like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Alright, what is up you lot? What is going on? Welcome back to another video and to another Rugby Player Reacts to NFL video. As you can see, I'm actually wearing a very, very special jersey today. It is the man who I'm reacting to, Marshawn Lynch. And when I got this, I didn't know how special it was. I didn't know how old it was. In fact, I thought it was a Pro Bowl jersey, but apparently not. Apparently, unbeknownst to me at the time, so I'll just sort this out here. Uh, Marshall Lynch actually played his first season at Buffalo. But, believe it or not, three years after retiring, I don't know if it's three or two, we'll, we'll have to confirm that. Marshall Lynch is back, baby. The beast mode. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Beastquake is back. He's literally back. He's playing this weekend, and I can't believe it. So look, I saw this story probably, you know, pop up about two or three days ago. I thought, I'm not gonna watch anything. I'm gonna get all of my videos prepared. I'm going to sit down, put my Marshall Lynch top on, turn the camera on, and we'll do it together. So that's what we're doing today. It is Boxing Day. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a Happy New Year. But without further ado, I'm going to go and get a coffee. I'm going to get the screen recorder going. And we're going to hear the first video, which is Marshall Lynch's press conference, which is 30 seconds long, and I'm assuming it's because he didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, and then we've got a few other sort of, uh, you know, talk show videos with uh, Shannon Sharp on Undisputed and we've also got uh, Pat, M Pat McAfee and I've also got another guy breaking down Marshawn Lynch's film due to the fact that he's come back to the game. So I actually thought the season was over. I thought that 16 weeks is done, we're finished. Unbeknownst to me, it's actually 17 weeks, each team has a bye. So what that means is that Marshawn Lynch is actually coming back for the final game of the season. And that is fucking cool. So let's get into it guys. I'll see you back here shortly. I can't wait to do this. I don't know if you can tell. Marshawn Lynch was one of my favorite reactions ever. He was my fourth or fifth reaction I ever did, guys. <laughs> you know, thank God you guys recommended him because he was, you know, he basically welcomed me into the world of real beast modes in the game of NFL. You know what I mean? I, I, I think I, I vividly remember seeing a, a part on uh, Joseph Vincent's video where Marshawn Lynch must have been playing in the snow and he breathed out of his nose and it looked like, you know, dragon, uh, dragon fire, dragon steam coming out of his nose and they put, they put a, um, Joseph Vincent, the legend, put a soundtrack at the back of it of a lion roaring. And as soon as I saw that, well, I didn't know what to think. In fact, I'm gonna try and pick up that uh, clip and put it in now for you to see. All right, you guys. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be looking at Marshawn Lynch. I've got another recommendation from one of you guys. Uh, I have actually looked at Marshawn Lynch once before, but today I'm going to be looking at a particular highlight video by Joseph Vincent. He is a banger. He is not Shady McCoy. He is not like he's, he's a banger. He runs over you. Oh my god, did they just growl like a freaking lion just then? <laughs> Jeez, oh, look at him. It's like a bull. Oh, you see that? That's exactly like a maul in the game of rugby. You get all your forwards around, you keep, you off, keep yourself off the ground and you can continue moving up the field. That screenshot was the screenshot that I put on that video, and lo and behold, that video, that Marshawn Lynch video, I have this guy to thank for this whole YouTube explosion, whatever you wanna call it, that we've been on in the last 18 months. I had a YouTube channel for six years. I have had a YouTube channel for six years, seven years actually. It took five years to get to a thousand subs. It took another year on top of that to get to 5,000. It took another year on top of that to get to 10,000. And then it took another year on top of that to get to 100,000. And that, and that year, that explosion year from, from 10 to 100, probably took about four or five months. That started with that video that I reacted to on Marshall and Lynch. That was the one that went viral first. So guys, I'm gonna say it again. With that being said, I'll see you here shortly. 
Nick Minute. Okay, I've already got these videos saved. We've got four videos to watch. Uh, I don't know what my hair is doing. I really don't. Like, seriously. What the fuck? Am I from American Pie? <laughs> okay. Wowee. We've got to sort something out there. Okay, guys. Here we go. First video. First video of the day. We have... Marshawn Lynch. Re-signing press conference. This will be a familiar sight for a lot of you guys. Let's have a wee listen. It is a total of 30 seconds long. Your guess is as good as mine as to what we're going to hear. Okay. Appreciate it, mate. Okay, I will confirm he has spoken. Fantastic. The reporter actually said, welcome back. If you didn't hear that, it was quite, quite soft. So he's gone and said, thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. What brought you back this time? Happy holidays. Merry New Year. So have a great day. It's a great feeling to be back. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Come on! No one's even trying, are they? Like, I, I, obviously, I didn't follow Marshall Lynch's career when he was doing these interviews and, and not saying anything. Because, actually, come to think of it, he used to just turn up so he doesn't get fined. And I assume, after re-signing with the Seahawks, if he didn't turn up then, he may have been fined. <laughs> I thought he was going to give that guy an answer, but no. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and have a good one. I'm happy to be here. Well, that's all we need to know, brother. That's all we need to know. And I'm looking at this, the title sponsor for the Seahawks here, Boeing. I never actually realised that. And if that's Boeing Jets, then that's quite a play. On the name, isn't it? Seahawks flying, Boeing jets flying, you know. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, guys, that was that was video number one. Short and sweet. In the next one, I'm actually going to cut it off here. We're going to create this into four videos because, well, I can. Um, in the next video... Oh. Actually. Does Pete Carroll talk about Marshall and Lynch? Let's have a look. Someone might have tagged it in the comments. Uh, what have we got here? So that means that Marshall Lynch, if he's coming back now, he's got to wait another five years until he gets inducted into the Hall of Fame. Okay. Seahawks are a dog, and we are backed up in a corner. We have to use Russell and his abilities. We're going to have to take chances down the field, even if it turns into a turnover. We have to gamble and throw it all out there. That was from Boxing 101. Okay. Well, let's just see if he gets asked any questions and uh, once we have a little bit of once we have a little bit of an idea of what's happening from the coach then we'll move on okay. first time I've heard Pete Carroll talk to be honest in case you're wondering I don't have my 24 jersey underneath my sweatshirt here okay well this is a uh, this is a really a, a special week uh, for so many reasons I mean obviously the holidays we wish everybody happy holidays and we're in the middle special of the week all right or yours, at least, for having to work. But um, it's a very special week for us. Last week of the season, uh, playing for everything, uh, for a division and all that. Uh, very fortunate to be in that situation. Um, it is what we aim for. This is what we always look towards. And, and uh, we always wonder if it's gonna, the chance to do something like this is going to happen on the road or happen at home. We're thrilled we'll be here. Um, this is a really good football team we're playing, obviously. They, uh, they've done so many good things this year. Uh, a fantastic turnaround by the program and uh, by the coaches and, and their players and all that. Um, they've been flying all season long, so uh, they've had a lot of really, really uh, extraordinary games in the last since we saw them in the last. You know. Who are they playing? Seahawks, week 17, against the 49ers. Let's have a look at the table. Oh no! Oh no! They are playing. They're playing for the top spot. Points for, points against. Okay, so. They may not get the top spot, but they might get equal top and lose on points differential. So, look, let me just get this straight. The top team from each conference goes in to the playoffs. And then another two teams or another four teams get in? Or is it just those top teams? Which, hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn this right now once and for all. Which NFL teams qualify, qualify for playoffs? Okay. Once and for all, six teams from each of the league's two conferences qualify for the playoffs based on regular season records. 
a tie-breaking procedure exists if required. So the top team in each division of each conference qualifies. And then the top two teams in that conference outside of those top one in each division qualifies too on win-loss record. So at the moment it's looking as if the Eagles, let's say the 49ers, the Packers and the Saints are going through with possibly the Seahawks and the Vikings coming in with those two extra spots. So it looks like well, it looks like both teams playing this weekend, the 49ers and the Seahawks are both qualifying comfortably. But I couldn't be sure and I guarantee we're going to hear about it after the game. So I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I have actually just learnt how it works and uh, let's continue listening to Mr. Carroll. You know, a month and a half or whatever it is, um, so they, they're, they're ready for everything right now. So it's a, it's a, it's a great challenge. Um, our guys are jacked up and ready to go. We already started the week. Uh, we're, we're here at, at, at Chris. Imagine if Mitch Wisnowski, our Australian punter, playing for the 49ers, won a Super Bowl in his first year. Holy shit, this is going to be awesome. Mitch Wisnowski of the 49ers versus Michael Dixon of the Seattle Seahawks. That's going to be a fantastic matchup. Christmas Eve, you know, whatever it takes. Um, so our, our guys are tuned into it. It's really important that we have great work and great focus. And, and uh, we, yeah, he's, he's uh, ready to go. On December. Change from the office. How much is the same for them to pick back up? Um, the rhythm and the quick of the hold on so they can have plans. You know, Come on, man. Give me some Marshall and Lynn. I don't know how much you guys are getting in practice. What will you have to see from Marshawn to know? Here we go. Working out really hard. Uh, he, he looks very fit. Come through in a big way. So. That sounds good. Yeah. With the way that you guys practice this time of year, I don't know how much you guys are getting in practice. What will you have to see from Marshawn to know how much he'll be ready? Yeah. I, I don't even know that. I'm just going to go to practice see what happens. I'll let you know in a couple of days. Um, just once. He's going to be fine. He's going to look good. He's going to do everything really well. He already, I can already tell, you know, so that I'm not worried about that at all. Um, <clears throat> there won't be an opportunity to really challenge his conditioning at this time. We don't want to at this time. We just want to just bring him along and, and you know, get him ready. Uh, just as we do with guys coming in, you know, you don't bust your tail thinking you're going to get him in shape in three days. You know, it's not going to hap happen. So the conditioning level that he has is kind of what he has, and then we'll just build on it as we have some time as we move forward. Is it certain he's, he's playing Sunday? No, let me get to practice first, okay? Oh, there's no certainty he's playing. Come on, mate. Give us some, give us some good news. I practice yet, but I'm counting on it. Yes, he's counting on it. Yes. Fuck, I can't wait to see Marshall and Lynch play. Oh my god. I don't know how you guys are feeling, but I cannot wait. So how broad was the group of options that you had at the running back position before selecting Marshall? See, I know nothing about the Seahawks running back position at the moment. And um, obviously they've, they've lost a few players throughout the season that brought Marshall and Lynch back. I don't know what's happened. Well, it, there's a lot of people out there that want to play. And, and uh, you know, Johnny's all over that stuff. And there's a bunch of names. And, and uh, at this time right now, there may be fewer than ever, you know, because it's the end of the year and there's an attrition for the season and all that. But um, I don't even know what the number would be. It can't happen. When a guy comes back from a long layoff into pro football, what's typically the biggest concern? The day after. That's the problem, you know, it's the day after you play and, and how you respond to the, you know, to the workload and the hitting and all of that. Um, you mm. know, how you can recover is really the, the challenge. The first time out is not, it's not as much of a challenge. It, it'll be the second time out and the third time out and, that and so forth. You know, it's a message to the team. you got practice today. Tomorrow's the obvious day. You celebrate with family and you come back. Is it, oh, be with family, and by the way, don't forget the next day? I mean, what's the... Yeah, the, the, the guys will get a, a break tomorrow. And... Uh, and you know that's just by design for the whole program. And as much as we can do, allow that, we will. Um, we've done this before. You know, we took a day off of Thanksgiving. We, you know, we've done this in years past, and, and all. Uh, it does call for us to do a nice review the next day, uh, which would be I don't know what day it is. Thursday, I think it is. Yeah, it, uh, that day is important for us to review, so we don't lose anything of uh, what we gained. You know, on, on this day's work. Um, it's Thursday today, I to, feel. And we've done that for years to, to you know to smooth it out. Um, it, it all works, you know, it all works. It, it, you just flip a day from getting off on a Tuesday, we're, we're going to get, get off on a Wednesday for the players. How did Michael Kendricks make it through uh, Sunday's game? Um, he, he made it through, and, and uh, he's a little sore, 
from from the work. Um, uh, right, that's enough. Thanks, Mr. Carroll. Thanks a lot. Anyways, guys, that's enough for today's video. We are going to head into a bit of the Undisputed show with Skip and Shannon. And uh, I actually quite enjoy that. I do. These shows are all about personality. You know, you could have four or five different shows talking about the same fucking thing. It's the personality. It's the vibrancy. It's the, it's the expression behind their voice. It's the, the entertainment factor. And that's what we're going to get in this video. So, with that being said, I'll see you then. If you're excited, hit the like button. If you want to support me and the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.